What's up, Libras? Welcome, my Libra garden babe, to the Ocean Tarot Garden. Today, we are going to be doing a reading, uh, just getting the energy for this week for you guys. But before we hop into that, I am going to pull you guys some affirmative messages to see what guidance spirit has for my Libras. Okay, cards are already flying out. I see how this goes. See how this goes. All right. All right, so your first card says guardian angel. Someone from the other side says, hello, you are guided and protected. All right, Libra, it seems like there's somebody who might be trying to attack you. There are people who are trying to attack you, people who don't want you to succeed or whatever it may be. They want you to know that they have your back. Okay, they are around you. You guys could be seeing the number 44, 444. They're letting you know that you are divinely protected and can't nothing get to you. You also have the beautiful soul card. It says you glow when you're comfortable in your skin. Your beauty goes beyond what you can see in a mirror. You are perfect as you are. So I feel like people are loving the energy, okay? You could be giving some soft, loving, caring energy. And I feel like you could be vibrating very, very high, but it's like a very calm vibration that could be bringing people in towards you. I do also feel like you guys could be feeling really, really good this week about yourself and just in a good vibration as a whole, okay? Um, you also have endings always come with new beginnings. All right, so let's see what that all is about, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on with my Libras. get a card for Libra. Okay, don't know cards want to pop out for you like they did for Scorpio and Capricorn. They was just, okay, there they go. There they go. We will not be reading any reversals. Okay, just to let you know. I will be reading whatever the energy is that I get from these cards. Okay, Libra, let me just say, just looking at these cards, I feel like there is some shit going on, okay? Somebody is really thinking about you in a sexual sense with this judgment card, this high priestess. Somebody is fantasizing about you with this eight of wands. It's like a sex magic type of thing. The ace of swords, yeah, it's a lot of thinking going on about you, okay? Somebody is just stuck on you, all right? But anyways, we're going to hop into this reading. That was just a side note. And the things to focus on this week, you have the Ace of Swords here. All right. And I feel like that is you getting ready to get things going. Okay. I feel like it's cutting out the chit chatter, cutting out the unnecessary thoughts, um, cutting out the delays is what I'm hearing as well. It's time for you guys to really get focused and start creating these opportunities to start moving forward. I feel like the doors are open. They're just waiting for you to move forward. There should be a lot of activity going on, a lot of planning. Some of you guys will be feeling very, very creative if you're musical or if you write or whatever it is that you do as an air sign. I feel like your creative juices are going to be flowing. This is the perfect time to start acting on those things, okay, Libra? In the position of the things to ignore, you have a judgment card. And I just feel like things that you have released could be trying to make its way back to you. People could be trying to use old old you against you right now. So just, <laughs> just hold on now. Ignore that, okay, as well. I just feel like <sighs> there's something. I just feel like this judgment card just told me something that you've released or something that you thought that you let go of could be coming back. And this could just be emotions as well. You guys could be pondering on the ways you used to feel and longing for it to come back. Um, you could have released people, places, and things. And it's just like those just signs of it. Or if it's not people reaching out to you to communicate, it could be coming back. I do feel like there's some kind of magical works that is going on in the background for you this week. Uh, so you could be, I feel like you could be also seeing like some, like some weird signs, some weird signs or weird things that you haven't seen before. Um, just an example, it's just like maybe you're walking and you just see a rose like 
just stuck in the bushes and it's just like roses don't ever grow on that bush or whatever like anything like that i just feel like there's some things there that um i feel like it's like you shouldn't ignore but you should ignore if that makes sense this week i just feel like some kind of past things are coming in to kind of taunt you and it's just kind of like a test to see if that cycle has really closed out or if it's still lingering where there's ways for it to wiggle back into you know your energy type of thing all right i'm also feeling like there is somebody who has a lot to say to you um and i feel like you're going to take it all in but they don't want you to just focus in on that or allow it to I feel like it's going to be a harsh tongue, a lot of truth here as well. With this Ace of Swords and this judgment, it's like something is some kind of release of words or release of something is going to come out and it's just like cutting some, sh cutting the difficult shut shit out. Okay, somebody is going to shut some shit down. It's just going to be a closure in of it. All right. And the possible, ooh, the possible potential outcomes, which are the good outcomes here. We have the high priestess here. And I do feel like you guys are kind of just like got a lot of great shit coming out for you guys this week. And this could be like financial things. Like I said, you going into a creative manner. And I feel like this is great opportunities that could be making its way to you where people want to network, people want to build with you. Or it's just like your intuition is flaring up and just giving you all kinds of signals. You could be seeing all kinds of angel numbers, different signs and different things like that. But at the same time, they want you to keep it to yourself, Libra. Don't expose your hand because there could be somebody out there lurking who doesn't want you happy to begin with. I also feel like the possible outcomes is like there's something that's going on in the background um, that is kind of like guiding you. I feel like it's a lot of spiritual, supernatural things that are going to be happening to you. Hearing sounds, seeing shadows, uh you know, dreams and things like that uh, that's really going to be catching your attention this week and really trying to send those hardcore messages out to you. All right. Okay. And the obstacles, you have the four of cups. And I just feel like that's you <sighs> moving past being. I just feel like you're bored somewhere. There's somewhere in your life where you're bored, whether this is career or love. Something's just not doing it for you guys. And it's just like, I don't know if it's you reminiscing with this Ace of Swords and the judgment or if it's something coming back up that has you reminiscing that's not allowing you to see the good that you already have or whatever it is. But I just feel like there's something that's coming in that's kind of blocking. Okay, this could be somebody tampering in your energy, that past person coming back or something that reminds you of the past. Uh, like I said, thinking about the past and things like that, that energy could be coming in. And it could kind of block you for a little bit. I do feel like there's a little down energy for a little bit. Like you guys could be a little stagnant and confused and can't get past the thoughts of something. But I do feel like that is going to shift as long as you keep pressing forward as well. And your place of blessings, you have the temperance card. And I just feel like patience is key. And they're letting you know with it being underneath this judgment card right here, I feel like they're just saying this way things are being released to you. Things are being opened up to you. Pathways are being or opened up to you because of your patience and your tenacity. I really don't even know what tenacity means. I'm gonna have to look that up <laughs> when I get off of here, but that's what Spirit is saying is your tenacity here. Um, you're being power driven. The work that you've put in, you know, you've been trying to make shit work. Okay, the temperance card is like an alchemy card. It's also giving me like the magician card. Like you're using these tools to create what you need for now or what you're desiring in the future. Okay, and it's just like now it's about to get released to you. Your blessings are coming towards you. These are the things that you've been asking for with the deepness of your heart and your soul okay answers are being made okay in the place of your advice you have the eight of wands okay so if you're looking for love love could be coming in for you i do feel like there's a lot of fast movement that is about to come in for you if you have a business or yeah, if you have a business or anything like that, I do feel like it's about to take off. And the advice is things can be moving fast, but they also want you to remain grounded. They also want you to kind of 
not run off with it. Like if money comes in, don't blow it. Like be smart about it. Okay. Like how can I manage these things better? How can I do this thing, you know, do this better? So I do feel like it's a lot of balance here that they're wanting from you with these twos. I see a lot of twos. So you guys could be seeing like two, 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 12, 22. Um, you also could be seeing five, five, five as well, but I do feel like things are changing. So you could be coming out of a place. I don't feel like it was solely hardship but a place of doing a lot of work and things like that and things are starting to grow and starting to blossom for you because we are coming into spring so i feel like now it's just like yeah things are starting to starting to pop off for you with this high priestess on top of this eight of wands i just feel like they want you to know that you're a magical divine person uh that you carry a lot of energy and this energy is going to be manifesting for you you are a high priestess so whatever it is that you want or that you ask for it is coming in as long as you stay focused on it and you remain diligent okay this is the time for you to be working your magic libra get in the groove of things you are a magical divine person all right and that's what i have for you today i will be posting your love reading later this week hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe